I was sent something really cool to do a review on. This is my Wavelength. This is the AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 Outdoor Access Point. It comes with dual band, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, supports active PoE and passive PoE. This has a 12 dBi high gain antenna for long distance directional transmission. And this is an IP67 waterproof rating. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed and see what's in the box, get it installed, go over some more details and see how this thing performs. See you in a minute. accessories box, and then the access point, and we'll go over that in detail here in a little bit. Looks like we have some mounting straps, some manuals and paperwork. Looks like we have a mounting template. That's always good to have. So let's see what's in the accessories box. Looks like we have some mounting pads, uh, little sticky pads to mount this. This looks like the power supply for the PoE which this is the PoE right here, an ethernet cable. And it looks like we have some weatherproofing for the ethernet cable and then a little wrench to be able to tighten all that up. Very nice. So now let's take a look at the star of the show here. Wi-Fi 6 and this is the AX3000 and right under here is where you would plug in the ethernet. Here is the bracket on the back for mounting spots under this bracket which allow you to run those straps through if you choose to go that route and then if you needed to screw it onto a wall or something like that these little spots right here will allow you to do that if you line it all up and that's where this would this little template right here would come in that would help you line everything up to get your holes drilled just right and put your screws up there and be able to mount it onto that very easy very nice option so there's really only one other thing we need to do Let's go get this thing installed and see how it performs. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, so I wanna show you how easy this system is. I went ahead and reset it. There's a reset button right under here underneath that little rubber tab that allows you to reset it and go back to factory. So that's where we're at right now. I've got the cable, I've got the ethernet cable plugged in and this is the PoE switch that comes with the device. Now I've used this and I used my existing PoE uh, switch and it worked fine worked really good. So right here the PoE side That's what you need to be able to power this device and then the Ethernet cable Going to whatever device you're going to configure it with now There are a couple different ways to configure this you can do it wirelessly or you can do it with an old-school Like what I'm doing right here. I'm just plugging it straight up to a little mini computer and that's how we're going to configure it Plug that in plug in your power It's lit now this little PoE does come with a little switch. You can turn it on and off. Really nice. So that is up and running. It's booting up. You can see the activity light on the ethernet side there and little blue light right here. Now in the directions here, it is very easy. I can't show you this on here because there's a lot of information in there that, well, it needs to stay in there until you buy this device. And that is the IP address and the uh, password and everything you need for setting this up. All right, so when you put in the IP address that it tells you to put in, you will come to this page. And this is where you would initially put in the password they give you, and then it allows you to change that password. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, what's really cool is all the advanced features we have in here. Device status, modem selection, network settings, parental control, firmware update, which I already did, logged in there, checked for updates, it downloaded, and updated. Backup and restore, time zone, admin password, timing reboot, network diagnostics, LED control, and signal adjustment. I'm not going to go into here because there's a lot of personal and IP information and all this stuff here, but this kind of shows you uh, all the different features this has. It's very powerful and very nice. All right, so I got this little test board set up here, and I'll show, show you where it's going here in a second. But what I want to show you is the installation portion of this. This comes with a little pattern right here, and it allows you to line it up, make your holes where they need to be, and then mount it. So in this case here, I'm just going to mount it like this. I'm just going to use the screws, and then just, you know, stick it on here. But there's several different ways this can be done. You've got the, the little sticky pads that you can put on the back of it to stick it to something. Really nice stuff. And then of course your little straps. For simplicity, we're gonna do this one here. This just allows you to, once you, once you put the screws in on the back, 
just allows you to uh, hang it right there. Very nice and very easy. All right, so now we need to put the weatherproofing on the ethernet cable. Very easy. Put this first nut on and then the rubber seal on next. And then this little crimpy end goes on there because when you tighten it down, it squeezes up around it. We're gonna slide that through there. And then we're gonna click it into the ethernet connection. Very easy. And then screw that on in there. And of course, tighten it all down. All right, there we go. It's up there, really high. Looks really good. Now let's make the other connections. All right, for simplicity, we're gonna go ahead and just set this up on the table, but this would be mounted somewhere out of the weather to the device. It's what we just plugged up. So that goes into the PoE. This is our data from our internet connection. So we're gonna plug that into the LAN data in. And then we're gonna plug it up. Here's the power source. And it is up and running. All right, so this is the location. I'm about a half mile away from the access point. Half mile away, and this is the results. 87.1 download and 63.4 upload. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so I'm halfway in between the location I was at a minute ago, which is a half mile away. So I'm halfway in between that on a road that is right down the road from my house. It's a good distance. This is the speed I'm getting, and I will show you a picture of that here in a second. Okay. All right, so overall, this is a very easy access point to install and configure. What's very impressive to me is I have a small 10-acre lot, and three-quarters of it is wooded. On the very end of my property, in the woods, through the trees and leaves, I was able to get internet access. Now this is one of my favorite hangouts right down here with the ducks, and I've never been able to get an access point or wireless from my cell phone to work in this location. So I'm a happy camper. I have Wi-Fi down in this area on my property. Now all the other stuff that I showed you, wow, absolutely amazing. So this is a very nice access point. All the details and specs are right there on the page. I hope this helps and we will talk to you in the next one.